Noble viewers, welcome to part two of our three-part series, Warming Oceans, a call to end the climate crisis. In part one, we learned how warming oceans are contributing to dangerously rising sea levels that threaten the lives of millions of people. In today's program, we'll discover how ocean warming is also adversely affecting marine life. One serious threat is the occurrence of marine heat waves. In early 2014, a massive volume of warmer than normal water began appearing about 200 kilometers or 125 miles off the west coast of the United States. The warming phenomenon persisted along the California coast and other parts of the Pacific during most of 2015 and into 2016. Seen on a monitoring screen as a monstrous red patch, the marine heat wave was dubbed the blob by principal research scientist and Washington state climatologist Dr. Nick Bond. At its peak, the blob covered an area larger than the United States and resulted in massive algal blooms. Algal blooms are extremely dangerous to all forms of marine life. When waters become warmer, algae begin to grow profusely. As the algae die, the dead organic matter becomes food for bacteria. Then the number of bacteria increases dramatically, using up much of the dissolved oxygen in the water. This creates a dead zone in the ocean, where many plants, fish, and aquatic insects can't survive. In addition, heat waves in the ocean have other devastating effects. When marine heat waves occur, they affect biology in a range of ways. Species change the location in where they live. And so, for example, in the Western Australian, many unusual species were pushed further south by the warm water. The warm water also killed habitats. And the bottom two panels on the left illustrate a before and after picture associated with the a marine heat wave event. And similarly, on the right hand side, examples of what happens to marine habitats in cooler water and they're hit by marine heat waves. You see loss of algae and um, loss of the animals that depend on those environments. As a result of this heat wave, humpback and other whales began swimming much closer to shore off the coast of California in search of food. Here, record numbers of the animals became entangled in fishing gear. Some got ropes entwined around their mouths, making it difficult for them to eat, while others were caught in crab lines that slashed through their skin and caused infections. In 2016, more than 50 whales were either wounded or killed by fishing gear. Then in August 2019, a second blob emerged off the coast of California, where a patch of warm water resembling a sea monster of record size was spotted. The heated up ocean patch was approximately as large as the size of Canada. Waters off the shores of Northern California, Oregon, and Washington hit a record-breaking 2.5 degrees Celsius or 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. Dubbed Blob 2.0, the patch will cause a range of damage to marine ecosystems. This warm water anomaly was reported in the April 2020 issue of the journal Nature Communications. 
Lead author, Dr. Dylan Amaya, a research scientist at Scripps Oceanography, warned global warming shifts the entire range of possibilities towards warmer events. The Blob 2.0 is just the beginning. In fact, events like this may not even be considered extreme in the future. Marine scientists further warn that if climate change continues on its current trajectory, the world's oceans could lose many more sea organisms by the end of the century. take a moment now to pray for the protection of all marine life forms. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Warming Oceans, a call to end the climate crisis. Recently, ocean heat waves have become increasingly common, threatening the existence of many types of marine life, from plankton to fish to whales, who dwell in the upper ocean zones where temperatures are rising more quickly than usual. According to a study published in the March 2019 issue of Nature Climate Change, between 1987 and 2016, the number of annual ocean heat wave days on the planet spiked by around 54%. The extreme rise in temperatures negatively affects sea life, including kelp forests, seagrass meadows, and coral reefs. These fundamental ocean environments provide food and shelter for countless marine organisms, including many species of fish. Thus, their destruction will have cascading consequences for marine biodiversity. Lead author of the study, Dr. Dan Smale, an ecologist from Great Britain's Marine Biological Association, writes, You have heat wave induced wildfires that take out huge areas of forest, but this is happening underwater as well. You see the kelp and sea grasses dying in front of you. Within weeks or months, they are just gone along hundreds of kilometers of coastline. Just as atmospheric heat waves can destroy crops, forests, and animal populations, marine heat waves can devastate ocean ecosystems. With increasing amounts of greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere, the ocean is absorbing more and more CO2. When this happens, a chemical reaction occurs and the water becomes more acidic. Oceans are currently acidifying at a rate faster than at any time in the last 300 million years. Ocean acidification produces additional acidity-inducing chemicals while reducing important minerals such as calcium carbonate, which many marine organisms need to survive. One of the most serious consequences of acidification is that many deep sea coral reefs are becoming brittle in the same manner that osteoporosis weakens bones in humans. As a result, the underlying structures of these reefs, which are home to a multitude of aquatic life forms, could fracture and break away. In addition, coral reefs suffer a stress response as ocean waters become warmer. When temperatures rise just one degree above their normal maximum, coral begins to bleach and die. A 2016 heat wave across northern Australia dramatically affected more than 90% of the Great Barrier Reef, leaving swaths of dead coral skeletons. The 
biggest impact of climate change to coral reefs is due to um, increasing sea surface temperature. So as CO2 uh, builds up in the atmosphere, it, the, the air and the water warms. And so we've actually already seen warming of about 0.5 to 0.7 degrees Celsius um, across the world's surface oceans. Rising temperatures uh, throughout uh, the, the global seas uh, in coral reef e ecosystems means the proliferation of more diseases. It means things like coral bleaching, uh, the death of corals uh, due to basically overheating, uh, and then this notion of ocean acidification. These reef building corals can no longer really build the, the hard structures due to this change in ocean chemistry. The problem now is that there's so many of these different threats and then you overlay the threat of climate change um, with the sea surface temperature increase with ocean acidification. Um, and the reefs are less healthy in general and so it's harder for the reef then to recover from these other events or stresses. The biggest thing that we can do to stop the threat of climate change to coral reefs is to stop putting as much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere to actually stop the warming we're seeing. Rising ocean temperatures also affect the metabolism, life cycle, and behavior of many marine species. For some species, temperature serves as a cue for reproduction. For others, the water temperature in spawning areas significantly affects the success of mating and egg survival. A study by the Alfred Wegener Institute Helmholtz Center for Polar and Marine Research published in the July 2020 issue of the journal Science states that warming ocean waters could have a devastating effect on fish populations around the globe. The study predicted that climate change, if left unchecked, could negatively affect up to 60% of all fish species. Sea turtles are also vulnerable to rising ocean temperatures, as temperature affects the sex of their offspring. Research shows that if a sea turtle's eggs incubate below 27.7 degrees Celsius, the turtle hatchlings will be male. However, if the eggs incubate above 31 degrees Celsius, the hatchlings will be female. Rising temperatures would skew the sex ratios, thus threatening the survival of sea turtles. Many scientists report that climate change and its effect on ocean warming has become a critical issue. Dr. Dan LaFully, Principal Advisor in Marine Science and Conservation for the International Union for Conservation of Nature, says, the world seems to be obsessing about what is happening on land and in the atmosphere, not realizing that life on Earth is wholly a subsidiary of the ocean that accounts for 98% of species on the planet. He further warns what was predicted back in 2004 as something we needed not to worry about until 2050 or 2070 is happening now. Supreme Master Ching Hai also frequently reminds us about the dangers of warming oceans and that the fastest way to stop climate change is through global adoption of the organic vegan diet. Scientists have expressed concern, for example, uh, that if the ocean waters continue warm, certain fish whose gender is determined by temperature might end up extinct because only one gender will be produced. Problems like this show the interconnectedness of life and the environment. To think that a small temperature change can actually change a female fish to becoming a male. This situation can change, yes. It can be reversed, but we have to act quickly for these and all the other imperiled lives in the ocean and on land. So please join, sir, and spread the vital messages. We all must be veg, go green, if we are to save the planet.
kind-hearted viewers, thank you for your company today. Please